So the Division 2 currently has a global event going on called Reanimated, and it got a huge buff in Title Update 20. It increased explosive damage range by 50%, enemy headshot weakness was increased by 50%, and it tripled the explosion range. And the event is currently going live, so if you guys are looking at really getting into getting a lot of shade levels, getting some stars, this is the perfect time to do it. And I'm gonna show you a build that I like doing right here. And the party's about to start. Oh, oh my. We are going to have fun with this one. Right, let's get through here. Let's push to the top. Look what I'm telling you. That's it. Let's get rid of all this. Look at that. We're just going to keep playing. All right, so let's get through here. And I think it should be coming through. Oh, right here. They're already coming. Oh, my Jesus. I'm missing too many shots. But I don't want this guy to get away. There he goes. Heavily armored, hostile detected. This is armor. Come on. Oh. Oh, I didn't know this was a new brand set, so I'm gonna donate all this stuff. I need to get a proficient anyway. Look how easy that is. So much easy XP, guys. This, this is amazing. Now, what you need to do is make sure you go over to your seasons, and then you just got to go to the reanimate event, click on it, and you'll see you have a few of the challenges for day one already active. On day four, you can start working on all of them if you want to just wait. But yeah, you have your, your full... You have a full um, rewards track here that you guys can get. And you just got to make sure you activate it at the bottom where you see mine says deactivate. You'll have one that says activate it if you haven't activated it already. So let's head up to another control point for you guys and see what else we can do with this build. And if you guys want to see the build, I will show you in just a second. So we just arrived to another control point real quick. So let's start this out. We got a couple guys right in front of us. They're actually going to make it a little bit easier for us. They're gonna make it a little bit easier. I mean, they did hit me, but it's all good. Let's push through here. Oh, we're gonna have, this one's actually gonna be pretty tough, guys. You see that we have a resource convoy in front of us? Yeah, this is gonna be fun, though. This one is going to be fun. Let me call this in. Come on, come on, let me. I'm on fire. That special ammo is killing me, man. Oh my Jesus, man. Anybody else? Who's next? Uh oh, we're here. Let's see how this, how accurate this thing is. Boom! Oh, oh, yeah. Additional hostile contacts. This seems like a laser beam. Make it here. Come on, come on. Where's the rest of them? Oh, 
Where the... Where did they go? I don't even know, man. Heavily armored hostile detected. Nice. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so if you want this build, I'm going to show you it in just a second. Love it. Been running it for a very long time. Actually, I have build videos of it from years ago. Oh, missing shots. Nice. Uh-oh. Oh, rogue agents. See what, what's going to happen to them. Okay, didn't work. Push back, push back, push back. Okay, didn't work how I thought it would. But it's, we're still in it, we're still in it. pushing forward. Right, these guys were a little harder than I thought. But typically you don't have all these guys all the time. Rogue agent eliminated. There you go. Nice. Easy. And we get the XP. So we'll get into the build real quick. Now you guys could just run the hotshot build if you want. Um, That will work great too. Let me um donate some of these. So yeah, the build I'm using for this global event is just a regular Hunter's Fury build with Chain Killer, which comes with weapon damage, headshot damage, crit chance, and a headshot damage mod. We also have Hunter's Fury specked out all reds, so weapon damage on all the pieces from the gloves. You'll see the knee pads. You'll also see the holster, and you'll see the mask. Now you look at the backpack, we're running the Memento backpack. I have crit damage on here, which I didn't even notice, but yeah, this is where you would spec critical hit you would put headshot damage here. So if you want that, make sure you guys put the headshot damage on there. So I'm just gonna change that out for you real quick. So ideally that's what you want, but you pair this up with this build, you'll be able to one shot, especially with the buffs that you get from this global event. So if you guys have been looking at making a fun one, you have these pieces laying around, this could be something for you. So then that's what you guys kind of want to go with. I'm going with a D50. You want to do this because it's going to allow you to get determined. Now, if you have a D50 with damage targets out of cover, that's ideally what you want. I don't have one on this one right now. But yeah, so get one with damage, um, damage targets out of cover, then determine, and you're going to be hitting a lot harder. Yeah, so if you guys want to play with this, kind of with the build that I'm running with, again, not perfectly optimized for this setting. I threw it together just to play the global event because the video was mainly showing you the seasons, right? So you can see... We are, are, we already have two that we can unclaim. We have seven stars and you can do all, you can play, you can get all these challenges done. And that's a great way for you guys to not only get some name cash, exotic caches, and don't forget at the global event vendor, you guys can use your stars, right? You can buy different things. If you need exotics, use it on exotics. If you need materials to craft things, you can do it there. If you're looking for named items to help out your proficiency, you can do it there. So you can definitely get a lot of different things that you want. Or if you want some items that came from past seasons and have a random chance of getting them, these legacy season caches. But yeah, the global event is about one week only this time, six days and 13 hours left reanimated. One of my favorite. Remember to activate it there. And if you guys want to see the details on it, you can see it right here. So very good event. I always have a blast playing it. And you guys saw it. Pretty fun to play with. But we're going to wrap this up here, guys. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, hey, nothing but skills out. Take it easy, everybody.